Welcome back everyone to the GT40 head Fox body Mustang swap. And as you can see, I finally got the intake on, got the wiring done and probably screwed up some of the vacuum hoses. But anyway, uh, today is the day we're gonna stab the distributor in. So we need to make sure we're on cylinder number one. We're at the compression stroke, top dead center on the engine. So this thing will fire right up. I wanna show everyone how I'm gonna go about figuring that out. It's really not hard. If you're stuck on this, if your motor isn't firing and you think you have a distributor issue, this is gonna help you out, so stay tuned. All right, walk with me, talk with me just for a second. I wanna cover a scenario on where maybe you took your distributor out and then you spun the balancer and you just have no clue where your motor's at. You don't know where top dead center is. You don't know where the number one piston, or the number one piston is on your uh, distributor. You're completely lost. Maybe you've assembled everything and it's just not firing. You've got gas, you've got spark but those two things aren't lining up to turn the engine over. So we're gonna cover uh, that sort of scenario. It'll be very quick um, kind of coverage there, but I have a more in-depth video that I did on finding top dead center on the compression stroke. And I would honestly refer you to that because it is very detailed. Uh, this is just gonna be a quick scenario. So if you don't get your question answered in this video, please see that one. I'll link it at the end and also put it in the description. All right, let's get started. Okay, there are three things that we need to do in order to get this motor to fire. First of all, we need to identify the number one cylinder. On a Ford, it's passenger side front. On a Chevy, it's driver side front. The next thing we need to do is remove the spark plug from the number one cylinder and insert a wadded up shop towel. Don't put it in too far, just far enough to get it into the spark plug hole. Then you're gonna wanna rotate your engine over. And you may need to remove other spark plugs in order to do that. It really depends on how strong you are and how much work you wanna do. But just keep rotating the engine over at a medium rate and pretty soon this thing's going to fly out of there. And once that happens, we know we're on the compression stroke. At this point, we need to reference our balancer. Now that we've located the compression stroke on the number one cylinder, we need to reference our balancer and bring it to zero degrees. That will be top dead center on the number one cylinder. So you can't really see the degree marks for anything on this balancer, so I'm just kind of making one up as I put the blue tape here and that uh, marker mark is supposed to be your zero. So just pretend that uh, that's zero degrees on the balancer. You basically wanna line up your timing marker or your indicator with the zero degree mark on your balancer. That will get you at top dead center. That's exactly where you need to be. And again, if that didn't quite totally answer your question or solve your problem for finding top dead center, please see my other video at the end of this video or in the description. We found top dead center on a compression stroke, so now we need to figure out where our number one cylinder is on our cap. Well, it's pretty easy. You see that number one? That means this is our number one cylinder. If your distributor cap does not have a number on it, you're gonna just have to do some research and figure out which one of these is number one and then determine your firing order from there. All on the internet, I'm sure, but that's how we know this is the number one cylinder. So we need to make sure our rotor is pointing at the number one cylinder right here. So we'll grab our distributor. Now this is the distributor, it's the stock distributor from Ford. And this is our rotor here and this needs to be pointing at number one. So we'll put our cap on our distributor, just slide right on, okay? Now you can see I got marks all over this thing. I've had it out a few times, but you see our number one cylinder here and then we've marked our cap and down onto the base of our distributor. So we know exactly where to point our rotor. So once we've marked it, we can take this off and just simply put, see this is where it will be. We need to have our rotor pointed right there. And that is gonna be lined up on number one and that should get the car started. So let's put this distributor in. Now we'll get our distributor in. Remember, we're, we've lined up our rotor to our markings on our distributor. We're finding the number one um, piston on the distributor cap. So you can see these gears down here and uh, this right here, this will connect to your uh, oil pump uh, rod. Eh, I'm not saying that right. But anyway, your, uh, this will connect to your oil pump and this gear will set in place as well. Sometimes you kind of have to finagle it around, uh, but it'll go down there. Um, you can see sometimes when I just let it go, it likes to fall. So we're, we're good there. Uh, but then we just need to, need to make sure we can press it down. And we will get it down. 
Just need to move it a little bit. It didn't fall in. Okay, there we go. And we need to see how the, the the cap, or I'm sorry, the rotor clicked over one. We need to not have it not do that. It needs to stay where we had it marked. So we're going to spin the distributor just a little bit. Maybe try to put it in a little differently. There we go. We'll spin it. There we got it down. Okay. And now we can spin our cap a little bit, and that's it. We're, we're right lined up here, let me show you. Uh, as you can see, that was our mark right there, and we're right on the money. Now that we've got our distributor set where we need it to, we can put our clamp and our bolt in. We're just gonna make this loose. We don't need this to be tight at all. And again, if you move your distributor around while you're installing this piece, it's all right, you can move it back. So just don't install it tight. We just need a loose fitting here. We don't want the distributor jumping out when we start the car. So I'm gonna move it back. Okay, we're right on the money again. Now we just need to put our cap on and fire the engine. And there you have it folks, it fired on the first try. We got spark, we got gas, and we got timing. If those three things line up, you should have a running motor. So hey, if this video helped you, please help me hit like and subscribe. And if um, you need more help finding top dead center on compression stroke, see my other video. I'll put it right here. It does way more detail than I did today. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Have a great rest of the day.